Hey y'all, what is going on? We are running out of summer here, so we're about to creep into fall, and I just realized I haven't done what I consider like an exotic fishing video in a while. Now, exotic fishing in my creek is carp, catfish, and eel. Um, I'm at a spot that has all three. Typically at this spot, I might catch one or two of the species. I've never caught all three in one day. Maybe that'll change the day, maybe it won't. I don't really know. It's a crab shoot. So we've got bait with us today. I'm gonna be throwing that out. And I brought two rods just because I might get bored and want to throw some lures. So we'll see what happens. I think anybody who's watched my channel is familiar with this spot. If you're not, welcome. And I don't usually plug this, but I'm going to. I'm almost a 500 subscriber, so that's cool. If you guys do like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, that helps me. And if you like uh what you see subscribe and you can see a bunch more all right let's jump into it all right the baits of choice today we've got corn and we've got hot dog hot dog is great for catfish it's the best eel bait there is in my opinion and corn is the best carp bait in my opinion so we'll throw both of these out and see what we can get i got my two favorite rods with me i love these tiny lights by bass pro shops they're 30 bucks a piece and they're just a good overall rod whether you're a first time fisherman or been fishing your whole life i mean they're so cheap so and they hold up well like you don't have to worry if you drop one on the side if you got kids and they're slamming them into xyz it doesn't matter because it's a 30 dollar rod and reel combo and it's great for these tiny cricks got six pound test on and a 132 ounce jig head and on this one just a just a lure i don't know if i'm even going to use this rod or not but definitely going to be using this one today going to start chumming over here and we'll uh Hopefully get some fish. All right, let's do a little chumming. Uh, one thing that's a good tip that I didn't do is to actually make sure your hot dog is thawed out by the time you get here. I just completely forgot to take it out of the freezer. So first things first, let's throw some corn, see if there's any carp in the area. And, uh, just drop a hot dog in and see what happens that hot dog is great because all that grease comes off it gets in the water and those fish can smell it from pretty far away so they'll come from from everywhere not when it's frozen though so i gotta wait a little bit y'all it's a beautiful night out here in southeastern pennsylvania in delaware county good old delco and uh the one thing i don't like about this type of fishing is waiting just a waiting game when you're using baits like this so i can see in the water so i'm just keeping my eyes peeled to see there are going to be any catfish coming in here any carp because that's going to dictate the type of bait that i use okay i was thinking honestly that the first fish we would catch would be a uh a carp which is why i got this corn on however I have lost the hot dog like three times, so something might be coming out and taking the hot dog. My guess, since I didn't see it, it ain't like a big channel. Could be a bullhead. Could be our friend, the American Eel. Who knows? Guys, it's time. Got one. Good size. Good size channel for this crack. We may have to tighten that drag a smidgen. <laughs> Unless he's just that big.
Yeah, we, there's no way he's that big. Which way tightens it? I mean, he's a big catfish though. He's one of the bigger ones that I've ever caught here or ever had on. I don't want to jinx it. The other thing with catfish, y'all, some people say, oh man, they don't fight. Dude, but then they'll come down here with these surf rods. Okay. Like, of course, if you are out here in the Chester Creek with a dang beach rod, you're not going to think these things fight well. That's a nice channel, buddy. There we go, that's a good looking channel. That's a good looking channel, y'all. Oh, falling. Let me take the things out of my pocket. Grab them again, I might need these. Come here, friend. You're probably not thrilled with me. <laughs> Yo, that is actually a huge, huge channel for down here. That is probably the biggest one I've ever caught. <laughs> Did I just catch my PB channel catfish at a small creek in southeastern PA? Best believe. <laughs> that is a huge, huge channel. I need help. All right, y'all. This is obviously a really big fish. I had to go back and get my fish grippers because I really did want to get a length measurement on him. So the, that's 10 inches right there. And it goes to about right here. That's about 20. Rough estimate about 20, 23, 24 inches. So good two foot long catfish here. And this buddy's been very cooperative. He bit the heck out of me, but as y'all could tell, I stuck my finger in its mouth. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we in the business consider a very, very large catfish. I mean, he's just a beautiful fish. That's a huge fish for this creek. Now I'm going to get a picture and release him. Some people do, do, down here do uh, eat them, but I'm very much catch and release guy on these babies. You ready to go, bud? He's getting, he's almost ready. We just had a good little fight, so. And there he goes. <laughs> what a fish. Uh, that was pretty crazy. He was a really big catfish for this creek. I was expecting to catch one, but um, wasn't expecting one that big, so pretty cool. Let's see what else we can do. Lots to unpack in that catch. So I said in the beginning of my video, I love this rod because you can just throw it wherever. Like it gets so dirty over there. I throw it in the mud. And if this was a new rod and reel or a real expensive one, I want to be nervous, but it's a $30 reel. First of all, it's going to be fine because these things are made tough. Bass Pro Shops makes an awesome reel here. And for 30 bucks, even if something did happen, not the end of the world. Love it. Love it. Now, pro tip, whenever you catch a catfish, especially a bigger one or you catch an eel or you catch a smallmouth check your line because chances are that thing's going to be frayed and it is for me so all that does is create a weak spot in your line cut it cut it again and retie your hook back on okay rinse and repeat let's see what else is still hanging around 
So there's some fish that I just know a lot about, like smallmouth, especially crick fishing for smallmouth, crick fishing for most fish, largemouth. Um, channel catfish are something I'm still learning about. Like I had one catfish that just took this, but he didn't, I don't think he swallowed it. And I didn't, I thought they automatically would just do that. And I had another one that really like went around it and figured out, yep, that is not what I'm supposed to eat. It looks like there's a hook on it and I didn't think that they did that so I'm out here learning I'm out here learning and hopefully y'all are watching and learning too I don't know what to do when they do that oh there's a little bullhead be awesome to catch a little bullhead here he comes here he comes Oh man, there's two bullhead down there. My guess is they're gonna be yellow bullhead. Come on behind you. Oh, got him. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this when I when I said exotic fishing, this also counts. And these ones scare the bejeebies out of me because if you're gonna get stabbed by a catfish, it's gonna be a small one like this. He blinded one eye. There you go, yellow bullhead. Wasn't expecting him to make an appearance today, but we will undoubtedly take that. cute thing they bite the heck out of you though look ew 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 stop biting me whoa ew 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 Pablo once told me that you can lip them and ever since then I have but look at that pretty little fish love these little guys well let's let them go ew ew <laughs> Well, they're biting. They're biting the hot dog and they're biting me. And when I hooked into that bullhead, I actually think that there was another catfish coming over to feed. So let's just get some more lines in there and we'll see what we can do. We're on fire today. Um, be really cool to catch another catfish. Or just, yeah, catfish actually. I'm in a catfish mood today. What a fun day of fishing it's been. It's one of those days where like, I don't really know how it gets better. Oh, well, that's how. <laughs> no fighting this guy, he's smaller. Man, we are wearing them out. What a beautiful day to be alive. Stay away from the rocks. Whenever y'all are reeling in these guys, just be careful of your surroundings. Let's grab our buddy. Guys, uh, you know what? The other thing that I'm not great at is, is grabbing catfish. So if y'all are watching this video and you're like, why does it take you so long? I try to lip them, which I don't think is the smartest thing. But it's just, I'm a bass fisherman. First things first, let's give the viewers a look. This is probably the average size catfish that we have in here. Dude, what is up with his eye missing? I noticed that more and more catfish are missing eyes. Is that like, I know they when they mate, they get really aggressive. I wonder if that's what it's from. Yeah, he looks a lot rougher the other ones we caught all right let's let our friend go oh 
Well, I guess we keep going. Three cat daddies on the day, two channel cats, one bullhead. I'm not used to this being so good. I will say I don't know anything about catfish, which I've said like 50,000 times, which I don't know why I'm doing a video about it. Just love to do it. Um, love to be out here. I guess the one thing I've noticed in my two years of catfish experience or three years is they bite so much better in this summer to fall, late summer to early fall time. It's just when I usually smack them in here. All right, here's the deal. For whatever reason, I think these catfish got a little bit weary of the meat floating around. And I was chumming the water with corn for carp and they started going crazy, they being the catfish. So, switch to corn, and we shall see. My theory potentially could be right. This guy's a vacuum down here. Got him! The corn method worked! This is a great channel catfishing day. I mean, just a great catfishing day. Let's not forget we caught that bullhead. He's a better size, he's a fat so. I think these guys are getting big for winter or fall. Again, I know nothing or very minimal about them. I know they're the state fish of Tennessee, along with our friend, the smallmouth bass. Tennessee, in my mind, is the two best state fish. Sorry, Brook Trout. Uh-oh, he might be bigger than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, so we're still fighting. Boom. All right. <laughs> we already had a photo op with the first one, so I don't think we need a second one. Oh, he's blue. Oh, yeah. He's, you can tell it's mating season. These guys are getting marked up. Come on, buddy. Well, you got hot dog and corn. All your buddies only got hot dog. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's another big one. Dude, he's bigger than my arm again. Oof. So my arm's about 20 inches. He's more than that. He's about the same size as the first one we caught. We have been smacking some monster catfish today. And my thumb is annihilated. Absolutely annihilated from lipping these jones. One last look at our friend. How big is you compared to my leg? Again, I mean, we're talking about from the top of the knee to the bottom of where these shoes go. I'm gonna guess it's another 22, 23 incher. <laughs> Monster. Get fat. Look at how healthy you look, son. You are a very healthy looking fish. Good for you. Keep eating, buddy, and reproducing. Well, I want more of y'all in this crick. All right, friend. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready. You're ready, son. 
give me back my thumbnail. <sighs> all right, that's a wild day. I was not expecting that at all. I thought we might get on a catfish, maybe two if we were lucky, but four? I mean, three channels and a bullhead? That is uh, a first for me. That's the best day of catfishing I ever had. And to get the catfish that we did and the quality that we did, right? Two of those were really, really big for this creek. I just never see them in here like that. Um, I have no idea where the carp went. I expected to see a ton of carp. I thought for sure we'd get one, but I didn't even see one. So I'm not sure if people have been taking them. I know a lot of people have been fishing here or if they migrated, whatever it is, but they weren't here today. And that's the cool thing about fishing. Like you never know what you're gonna get into. If, you, if I had to guess what we're gonna catch today, I would've said carp, definitely. I would have said channel catfish, maybe, maybe an eel, and not a chance at a bullhead. And quite frankly, it kind of flipped. And, you know, we got three channel cats, which is unheard of, and uh, the, the bullhead. So it was just a good, fun surprise. See y'all.